Hello everyone and welcome to day 20 of my 30 days of lives featuring Stampin' Up's retiring product. So if you've missed any of the other 19 videos that I've done in the last 19 days, you'll want to go back and watch them. Watch the replay. You can watch them on either Facebook or YouTube and it, my page is called Stamped with, Stamp with Arlena on both of those platforms. And I have a friend here today that wants to nudge me now. Woofus has joined me. Sweet baby. And um, you need to go lay down. Go lay down. And um, anyways, we're going to get started. So as I mentioned the last couple days, it's getting more difficult to find things that are retiring that are still available because they are on a while supplies last basis. So today I thought I would bring to you, not a card, but a little box and um, show you a designer series paper that has is retiring. However, it is um, not available anymore. It's all gone. It's the Let's Go Fishing DSP. So um, if you did not get it, um, you can use something else. You can use any designer series paper you want. You can use any color card stock you want. Um, something that coordinates together. I just thought I would do this um, because Father's Day is approaching. Actually, yes, Mother's Day is first. But Mother's Day should be... Uh, you should have your stuff done for that. Just about anyway. Hello, Nancy. All right, um, so the bundle I'm featuring is not retiring. However, it will not be available um, after April 30th. So it is the Gone Fishing Stamp Set and Dies. And you can get it now at a 10% savings if you buy the bundle. Uh, after April 30th, you will have to buy them separate and you will not get the 10% savings. So I am going to point you to my work surface. Hello, Robin. I hope everyone's having a wonderful Saturday afternoon. All right, so I have a piece of Misty Moonlight cardstock and I have four pieces of the... Uh, let's go fishing DSP and the DSP is cut at six inches by one and three quarters and I have four of those pieces So um, yay Robin, you're doing it. You're de crafting. I love it So I had a comment on yesterday's video um, and She did not care for my project being upside down when I make it um, I did try to change it, um, which I can. I can change it so that when it's when I'm making it, everything is right side up to you. But then you will never see my face because when I start, I would be upside down as well. So let me know what you want. If you don't want to see my face, if you'd rather see the project done right side up, let me know. I'll, I can even try it a couple times and see what you guys think. Um, if not, if it doesn't bother anyone, anyone else, then we'll go from there. Um, I do try to take my comments seriously and take everything into consideration. Um, but um, this one I have no control over because I don't have software that will do it. And I don't have a... Um, um, a website that I can use that will do it. So um, that will automatically flip it for you. I would like to have picture in picture where you can see my face and the project that I'm making at the same time. But there again, you have to purchase that software um, and pay a yearly fee for that. So um, anyway, let me know what you think. Um, so I have a full sheet of Misty Moonlight cardstock and I'm going to cut it down to eight and a half by ten and a quarter. So it's already at eight and a half. So I'm going to pull my arm out 
and cut this at 10 and a quarter. So I'm just cutting off a 3 fourths inch strip. And you can save that for another project if you want. All right, on the short side. So this is the short side. This is the long side, okay? Short side. We want to score at... Oh, don't cut, Arlena. Two inch. Four inch. Six inch and eight inch. Eight inch. Okay. And then I want to mark on the short side at three inches and seven inches. So I want to just take a pencil and I want to mark at three inches. And I'm just I'm just going to um Make a mark in the track, in the cutting track. Three inch and seven inch. And again, I'm just gonna mark that in the, where the track, where the blade goes, okay? And then I'm going to score on the long side. So I'm gonna turn my paper and I'm gonna score it at two inch and eight and a quarter inch. Two inch and eight and a quarter inch. Okay, I'm done with my paper trimmer. Now, I want to burnish on all the score lines. Hello, Sue. How are you doing? I'm surprised you're watching. I thought your grandkids had some games today, or did they have them already? Did they win? More importantly, did they have fun and did they play well? Just one. Okay, and then we're gonna score for that one. And then this one too. All right. Now we're gonna do some snipping. And I gotta remember, I have not made this card in a while. So this is gonna be my top with the two marks there. So I'm going to cut on these four score lines on the bottom. And this little piece here, we can cut that right off. We don't even need that. So we're gonna cut that off. Then I am not cutting the top off, but I am going to cut this little piece off. So that's what it should look like. You should have the four slits here, these two little rectangles cut here, and this is not cut. I can remember now when I made this the first time that I cut these two and I should not have. It was okay, it was recoverable, but it looks better if it's not. Just got done with Matthew's game. He won two games back to back. Yay, Matthew, you go buddy. Okay. Now I'm going to take these four pieces, and this is directional designer series paper, which means it, it has a certain direction. So I want to put it so that the fish are all going up. Um, I'm just wondering if I can put them...
mm -hmm. where I cut them so that the fish are kind of, you know, you know what I'm saying? Wouldn't you know I did it? Have it. There we go. There is going to be some blue space on each panel, but at least the fish are connected there. I think that looks better. All right, so I'm just going to take my stamp and seal, put some adhesive down, and then line this up, kind of center it inside the score lines. Oh, that one went crooked. Inside the score lines, like so. go. All right. Then I want to take some tear and tape. It's literally that. It's tape that you tear. I'm going to put this right down closest to the score line. And I think I'm going to put another one down too. So with boxes, you want to make sure you get good adhesive on there so they don't come apart. Um, stamp and seal adhesive, this stuff, is not the greatest when you're putting boxes together because it, it won't stay together um, for a long time. It may, but there's a good chance it won't. Stamp and Seal Plus is better, so it's a stronger adhesive, and um, um, that is good. And then, of course, the tear and tape is the strongest. Uh, you could also use glue, but that takes a little bit to, um, to, uh, dry. So I'm just going to fold this over like so. So then I have this, uh, adhesive piece and then I can just fold that over and it lines right up. And then I'm just putting some pressure on there and then I have my box. So, lovely, lovely, lovely. This is my top because I have my marks here. So I'm going to just, um, let me see. This is going to be the front of my back. I like to have all the smooth sides facing the front. I don't want the seam in the front. I want the seam in the back. So I want, I'm going to put, the, um, uh-huh. I'm going to put the sides in first, then the back, and then the front. And then all I need is adhesive on this flap. So I'm going to take my tear and tape again. And I'm going to put a couple strips on there. going to peel off the backings, maybe, there we go, there we go, and then I'm just going to put that down like so, 
give it a good rub. And here's our little box. I'm gonna set it aside for right now. I already have a label, a banner label, and I'm going to use from the Gone Fishing Bundle, the stamp set, Happy Father's Day. And I'm using Misty Moonlight ink. Yay. Close that up. Clean my stamp. And then I want to, so where those two marks are, I want to fold it. Just kind of pinch it there. It's going. You just got to play with it a little bit. So it's going to be like a milk carton, okay? So you see that? It's going to be like a milk carton. And then I want to take my punch, just my hole punch, and I'm going to push really hard. I just scared my dog. Rufus is kind of a, a nervous Nelly. And then I have a second punch. So I've got two holes in there. And I'm going to make one hole in my label. I'm going to take some big, uh, linen thread. This kind of reminds me of fishing. Um, and I'm going to actually double this. So it's going to be fun, fun, fun. All right. So you can put anything in there you want. You know, this is a fishing theme. You could put lures in there. You could put some um, snacks, like a snackle box instead of a tackle box, you know. Um, I don't know what other fishing things you have. I don't fish. Well, I do, but I. my husband baits the hook. I cast. I cast bring the fish, reel the fish in, he takes the fish off, he rebates it, and I cast again. <laughs> so I don't, I don't consider myself a fisherman, but, um, I'm just going to use my scissors here and try to push that in. I know I'm probably making some of you nervous with that point. I got one. Come on. Right, I'm going to use my take my pick tool. It's not as sharp, so then I won't worry you guys about me poking myself. Or myself, for that matter. I won't worry myself. Okay, I'm going to take these two back out. I'm going to line them up again. And then twist them. And then try to thread it. You guys, this is worse than a bow. I tell you. There we go. Okay. And once you know, I threaded it through to the back. Okay, take it out again. <laughs> um, 
So I want to go in through the front of the box. Front to back. And my threads came apart. Oh my goodness. Isn't this crazy nuts? You guys let me know if you have any other tricks to get this threaded. There we go. And then to the front, back to the front. Yay. Then I'm going to tie this. And then I'm going to put this through the tag back to front. Okay, I'm going to trim those edges because they are really frayed. They're really afraid. <laughs> uh, there we go. And then lay it down. And okay. Snip that loop. Oh, my goodness, this is crazy nuts. Okay. There we go. There is our little box with retiring paper that's no longer available. But again, you can use any of your DSP that you have and uh, any color coordinating, coordinating color card stock. Um, oh, that's okay, Nancy. You can watch the replay. So all I did was uh, take a piece of card stock, cut it down a little bit. And then four of the DS pieces of DSP, which are six six inches long by one and three quarters across. So they all have that. And uh, put this box together. So very easy. It's great for Father's Day. You could do Mother's Day and just put a feminine twist on it. You could use, um, oh, oh, I don't have my DSP behind me anymore. I moved it. Um, let me see. Let me look in the book. And you can use. And you can use by the 6x6 six six paper too because uh, it only needs to be 6 inches tall. So you could use the Bright and Beautiful. Let me turn this around because I had that comment. Thank you, Cheryl. You could use the Bright and Beautiful. That would be cute for a birthday box or graduation. Those stars. Oh my gosh, blue stars. Nice. You could use the um, Country Inn paper. That is carrying over. Any of the eclectic paper you could use. That would be beautiful. The uh, Fresh as a Daisy. That's retiring. You could use that. Oh, the Earth and Elegance. I love those prints. Um, if you like gingham, you could do a baby one. The uh, inked botanicals. The All of these are absolutely gorgeous, what you could make. If you had someone that likes space, uh, stargazing 12 by 12 paper. Those are beautiful papers. Um, you could put, I don't know, but not, I don't, 
think you could put binoculars in there. Maybe sideways you could. Um, and then the the in color patterns too. So you could you could do any of those. You could even use the um, gold celebrated specialty designer series paper. It's like a it's like a acetate paper, and then it would be a clear box. Oh, wouldn't that be fun? I'll have to try that. That sounds fun to me. All right, I'm going to point you to me. Hello? So, day 20 is in the bag. I am so glad you joined me today. I am having a ball. We only have 10 days left. We have 10 more videos to do. Thank you for the hearts. Um, it will be fun. Someone said, are you going to keep going after this? I don't know. I might need a little break. But, um, yeah, May starts a whole new catalog. So maybe I could do, oh, thank you, Nancy. Maybe I could do 30 Days of Lives in May and feature a new product. Oh, wouldn't that be fun? Thank you, Robin. I hope you can duplicate it. It's not a difficult box at all. Not at all. So um, you could, you can do it. I know you can do it. And so many things. I mean, you could get put hand lotion in there. You could put um, makeup in there. Um, oh, my gosh. Goodies, candy. Um, I don't know. What else? Tell, tell me what else you think can go in this box. It is absolutely... It, it's, it's a great size box. It's um, good for anything. So, so my challenge to you is make this box and then post, oh yeah, jerky, yes, yes, yes. Um, I actually had, had a box of that up here. Um, hang on just a second. I think I have it up here. No, I don't see it. But I do have, I do have, so let me show you this. You could make the box with the B paper which is called um, Be Mine, and put Biddle Honey in it. <gasps> Wouldn't that be cute? Oh, I wish I would have thought of that before I did the Gone Fishing. That would be really cute. So, um, oh yeah, there's one that has paper that has pots of honey. Then there's little bees. So you can have the big bees or the little bees. Oh, here's bees with flowers. So cute. Yeah, you could really do a lot. You could do the honeycomb. I'm telling you, the ideas are endless, endless. I like the bee honey idea, tea bags with honey sticks. Yes. <gasps> yes. Great idea, Nancy. Oh, my gosh. See? See? Ugh. We, we are so powerful together, ladies. We are just awesome. And if there's any men watching... You guys are awesome, too, because I know you are very capable of making projects like this. I had a um, we had a family get together one time and I brought uh, craft kits for everyone, including the men. And I tell you, 
some of the men did better than some of the women. I'm telling you, they're very talented. The gummy worms, oh yeah, oh yeah. So, so good. I'm so excited now. Um, I have to get ready to go out to dinner. We're having dinner with Randy's brother and his wife. And they are going to meet Aiden, Courtney's fiance. And, uh, but now it's like, I don't really want to go. I want to stay in my craft room and play. Oh, we'll see. Maybe tonight when I get back, I'll make some more things and we'll see where it goes and I'll post them. But what I was saying too, I want you guys to make them and post pictures too, because it's important. It's important to, to do it together. All right. You guys have a wonderful day. Stay warm. It was snowing earlier. It's crazy. And um, also a little, a little fun fact. Today is 4-20-2024. And if you write that out and read it backwards, it's 4-20-2024. Just a little note to kind of make you think a little bit. You guys have a wonderful evening. I will see you back here tomorrow for day 21. And who knows what I'm going to make tomorrow. You take care and stay safe. And I love you. Bye.